loading your canoe correctly is an important step to ensure that when you arrive at your portage site, your equipment is ready. And if it starts raining, you can access your rain gear. And if you roll the canoe, your equipment has stayed with the canoe and not floated off or sunk to the bottom of the lake. And if you need to use the throw bag, it's in the right place. So it's accessible, regardless if you have two or three crew members in a canoe. So let's watch how to load a canoe. Hey, real quick, right before we jump into this video, if you'd do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you'd like to be notified of future videos, please hit that bell icon. Have a great day and enjoy this video. So let's take a look at how to load this canoe. The first thing that will go in the canoe and not come out of the canoe is the throw bag. It's placed by the lookout up in the bow of the canoe as the lookout will be the most likely person to need to use the throw bag. The food bag or kitchen is placed in the canoe just aft of the bow seat. The hip belt and shoulder straps are facing forward towards the bow. This allows the hip belt and sternum strap to be clipped around the thwart of the bow seat. The bag is clipped in so that if you roll the canoe, the bag stays with the canoe. Remember, the kitchen doesn't float. Behind the food bag or kitchen is the whale bag for that canoe. I should mention, and this is a small detail and likely, hopefully it will never be needed, but I would recommend considering putting the boat crew member's personal items and a tent in this whale bag. If for some crazy, not very likely to happen extreme example, if the boat crew were to get separated from all the other boat crews, which should never happen by the way, everyone in this boat has everything they need in their canoe. So long as they have their canoe, all their personal gear like rain jackets, puffy jackets, sleeping bag, and the tent is with them. The other consideration here is the rain gear for the boat crew members. If it isn't in a personal dry bag clipped to a thwart, needs to be in this whale bag. This whale bag is placed in the canoe with the hip belt and shoulder straps facing aft so the hip belt and sternum strap can be clipped around the yoke. The whale bag is also positioned like this so it's easier for the navigator to get the rain gear out should it start raining. Just behind the yoke, if the interpreter is riding in this canoe, then the interpreter's pack rides just after the yoke with the hip belt and sternum strap clipped into the yoke. And so here's a fully loaded canoe. Of course, depending on your crew's portage plan, you may have all of these bags or just some of these bags. Also remember, if you're taking the fishing gear, where is that gonna go? Probably where the navigator can get to it as that is the only person that can fish when paddling from A to B because the lookout and the captain will be busy paddling the entire time. If you've chosen to use personal dry bags, Everyone could have one, or just one person in the boat could have one. As a boat crew, you'll need to determine what will go in that dry bag, and where is that dry bag going to go. Also remember, that is just one more thing that you're going to have to manage at a portage. So that's how you load a canoe. Now remember to clip everything into the canoe. Remember the kitchen does not float. So in closing, watch this video several times and memorize it. This seems simple, and it is, but loading your canoe correctly sets your boat crew up for success on the water and for your portages. So with that, have a blessed trip. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to support this channel, remember, please subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends about it. Thanks for hitting that like button. Everything here is free. I want to give back to the community. I want to give to you everything here for free. I've been out in the outdoors for a long, long time, and it's great that I can be able to give this all this information to you. 
That is what's most important to me. If you would like to give back, I do have a GoFundMe page set up, and you can follow uh, the link. And if you'd like to, if you're a youth with your parents' support, I would gladly accept your donations. Thank you, and have a blessed day.